Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about how to find the correct error message while having ODBC issues. The agenda of this video is to see why and when we need to find out the correct error message while having ODBC issues how to get the exact error message and then we will see a demo of the same. So why and when it is needed? Sometimes when you encounter any ODBC issues while running a session, you may not get a proper ODBC error or proper error message in the session log or either while running the SSG ODBC test. So the error message may look like one of the example which I have showed here which will have the state code and the message but it will not display any proper error message. So in such kind of scenarios it becomes difficult for us to find out what was the root cause or what was the actual issue during the same time and then we need to find out a method where we can figure out what was the exact error message. And that is why we use this particular method. So how do we actually get that exact error message? You need to go to your ODBC home and check your ODBC INI file. So in the ODBC INI file, you will see one of the DSN with the name ODBC. And in that particular DSN, you will have one entry named as install DIR. If that particular entry is not being set properly then you may face such kind of issues. You should point it to the ODBC home directory and once you set it properly you will start getting the proper error messages. So let us go and see the demo of the same. In the demo I will be using the SSG ODBC utility which is being shipped by Informatica for testing the SSG ODBC tests. So let's, let's proceed. For the demo purpose, I have logged into my Informatica server and here I have already installed 10.4 and I have went to my ODBC home di uh, directory. So in the ODBC home directory, you can see I have these many files. So first of all, I will show you my DSN entry for which we are going to test this today. So this is my DSN entry for which I am going to do this test today. So here I have just modified this particular driver location which is incorrect. So basically my correct location should be 10.4.0 but I have modified it to 10.4 just for the sake of this demo. So let me just come out of this particular file. Now we will go and do the SSG ODBC test. So here I went to tools, debug tools, SSG ODBC and Linux 64 directory. And now I will go ahead and run the SSG ODBC test for the same DSN. So here I have provided the complete SSG ODBC command where I have provided the same DSN name as I showed you and the username and the password. So let me just run this. So here you see that this particular connection failed with a message code. So basically the message code says like 52380. So this message code, code doesn't give very clear idea on what is the actual error or what is the actual issue. So this issue happens because we have not set the ODBC home properly for the DSN named as ODBC. So let me again go back to my ODBC INI file and show you that. So here if you see, I have this particular parameter named as install dir which is pointing to some location which is not the correct location. So now I will just modify it and I will revert it back to the correct ODBC location. Sorry. So I will just uh, 
comment this particular uh, option and I, I will be just uncommenting the correct location which is my ODBC home location. So once I do this, I will be just saving this particular file. So you can see that uh, this is my ODBC home location and which I have provided into the same ODBC DSM. So now I will go back and run the SSD, SSD ODBC test once again. So once we modify the ODBC home location in my ODBC INI file, I'm going to run this SSG ODBC once again. So now if I run this, so you will not see a message code here. Instead, you will see a proper error message which clearly says that specified driver could not be loaded. Now I'll modify my driver location and then again run this particular test. Uh, like I mentioned, the driver location which I have provided here is incorrect. So I'm just making it correct by providing the correct location. So this is my correct location. So I have modified it and then we'll be saving this file again. So now I'll again go back to our SSGODBC and test that. So once I run this command again, you can see that it has got connected properly. So basically with this, we are able to identify that uh, our CS driver was not put loaded properly and we went and saw whether the location was particularly fine and uh, the driver name was correctly specified or not. So basically using this particular method, you will be able to find out the exact root cause or exact error message for which your issue has happened. So let me show you where exactly all this message codes would be available. So if we just go to our ODBC home, locale and ENUS and LC messages. So this directory will have list of files. And in this particular file, I'll just, just do a cat instead. So once we open this particular file, you will be able to see all the error messages or error codes along with the details of that. So if I just scroll up, uh, you can see uh, depending upon the message, like if the code says like 7807, which is, it means that the unsupported pre-authentication type was being used. So basically with the help of this, you can either come to this particular file and see what is the error code or error message corresponding to that. Or you can just directly go ahead and update your ODBC DSN, which is present at the ODBC INI. And get this message messages while you're running the SSG ODBC or while running the session. With this, we finish our demo session. You can refer to our knowledge base articles. The link for the same is given in the slide. Also, you can refer to our command reference guide in case you're looking for any commands with respect to this. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate infomatica.com or tweet us on InfoSupport. Thank you so much for your time.